Hi, everybody. This is a new approach to timekeeping. The original way of keeping time was 100,000 years ago. The hand was held up against the sky and two fingers were spread apart and that showed how much travel the sun made in one hour. So you can predict how many hours of sunlight would be left before sundown. The next improvement was the sundial. That showed exactly what hour of the day you were experiencing. The next improvement was the two-handed clock about 600 years ago. And that was more accurate than the sundial. And then Ben Franklin designed a four-hour clock to be more accurate and to only need one hand rather than two. And now here is the next breakthrough. It's an eight-hour dial instead of a four-hour dial. And the reason is that everybody knows within eight hours what the time is. A four-hour dial could lead to confusion if you didn't know what four-hour period you were in. But eight hours, that's a little easier to know. So the way this works, the way this works is you have midnight for the starter. That's a black M. And then you proceed one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, and four, a black four, because it's nighttime. Black for nighttime, blue for daytime. All right, so four in the morning, five in the morning, six, seven, eight in the morning is blue because it's daylight. Nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, noontime, a blue N for noon. One o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, a blue four for four in the afternoon. Five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, a black eight for eight in the evening. Nine, ten, eleven, midnight again. Three times around, and there you have it. This is a much easier way for children to learn to tell time. It seems very difficult being used to the other stop the other type, but for children first learning, this would be much easier. It would also avoid the ambiguity of two hands, sometimes misreading a watch, thinking mistaking the minute hand for the hour hand. And under low light conditions, you have a problem. You can't tell which hand is which. So this would be a vast improvement over the difficulty that two hands presents.